welcome to vital biology classes for new updates subscribe to the channel vital biology the theme of our channel is study now be proud later you can join our vital biology telegram group and all the classes notes pdfs are available there link is provided below in description box hello everyone this class is for all the kcet students kcet biology students uh, still now i was mentioning that uh, second pu biology students right but now i can't mention it in this in that way why because second pu exams have been cancelled as you know right so let us continue from here itself but it's not for second pu it's for kcet okay kcet biology so in the last class we stopped till the pre fertilization so today uh, let us move on to the fertilization so what is fertilization fertilization is the most important movement that is sexual reproduction after the pre fertilization this exist after the pre fertilization the process is also called as syngamy okay the process is also called as fertilization process is it's also called as syngamy except fertilization okay and lead to the formation of the zygote so the fertilization definition is that the formation of the diploid zygote is called as fertilization okay so next point however in some of the organisms zygote formation takes place wi uh, without the fertilization of the parent okay uh, we told uh, we discussed that in the last class that almost all the organisms first they take a stage that is growth and maturation then they need to uh, sexually reproduce that too after pre fertilization itself the fertilization occurs but here in some of the organisms the zygote is formed after the fertilization itself right the fusion of male and female gametes to form a new a uh, new zygote that is called as fertilization right so here there is no any uh, fertilization okay uh, means fusion of uh, gametes there is no anything here but but also there is the formation of zygote that is known as parthenogenesis i'll repeat it again the zygote formation takes place without fertilization that is called as parthenogenesis okay that is called as parthenogenesis this type of parthenogenesis is seen in the animals like rotifers and honey bees and some of the lizards too okay so let us move on to the next slide okay so in most of the aquatic organisms and amphibians fertilization takes place outside the body yeah that's true so most of the animals or uh, fishes you can observe that in water they they are the aquatic organisms right this amphibians fishes aquatic animals right so fertilization occurs outside their body means in water water is a main medium for the fertilization of the aquatic organisms so this type of uh, fertilization occurring outside the body means those are called as external fertilization okay external fertilization okay and uh, their eggs and offspring are highly vulnerable to the predators yeah uh, means like uh, their eggs if uh, if female lays the eggs in the water and it just moves on okay it will forget that the eggs are there and uh, this male uh, like uh, male individuals they just produces the gametes means sperms thousands of sperms and uh, those sperms will uh, search and go and fuse to that eggs which the female has left out so there the fertilization occurs and individuals also individual is also formed but when it is an egg there is no any caring of the parents right by that time many predators will attack that eggs and after the uh, individual hatches from the egg also the predators will be Uh, more and survival is very difficult for this stuff this type of aquatic organisms okay in aquatic organisms like amphibians or else fishes there is a type of fertilization called as external fertilization okay next let us see that internal fertilization 
so in most of the terrestrial organisms fertilization is internal means the fusion of uh, gametes that is internal inside the body okay uh, that is like uh, it takes place inside the female body okay that too mainly female body okay so sperms are released by the male individual male uh, individual that gametes are released into the female so that that fertilization mainly occurs only inside the body of the female not in both okay in this process the male gamete is motile yeah so that sperm should be moving into the ovum right or else it should reach the ovum that is in female structure so this motile this sperms male gametes or else it's also called as sperms that are the motile gametes and that uh, reaches by using some fluid material like blood or water substance anything that it is liquid so in that these sperms or else uh, these male gametes that moves and reaches the female gametes okay female gametes to fuse and after fusing thereby there is a formation of zygote thereby there is the formation of zygote okay and male gametes are produced in large numbers yeah why because the ovum is single but it is a large ovum is single but it is large and that ovum should be fused by thousands of sperms okay that is the thing so let us move on to the next that is post fertilization event this is a event that is after the fertilization event that is third type of event and uh, in this event takes place after the, this event takes place after the fertilization has i told you that is called as post fertilization pre means first one post means last one okay so in this there is two main points that is the zygote and another one is embryogenesis so first let us see the zygote the haploid gametes fuse to form a diploid zygote in all the organisms yeah i have already mentioned you that the two haploid gametes like uh, haploid sperm and haploid female or uh, haploid uh, ovum that fuse and forms a diploid zygote okay diploid zygote in all the organisms almost in external fertilization a zygote is formed in an external medium so in external fertilization a zygote is formed in an external medium so and in internal fertilization the zygote is formed inside the individual okay so this means like uh, in external fertilization in previous uh, slide i have explained you that so in that the zygote is for, um, formed outside the body like for example let us take the human that is mother so if she complete her 9 months then the zygote sorry uh, embryo will come out of the body and just develops okay so that the zygote is formed in an external medium and uh, in internal fertilization the zygote is formed inside the individual okay also next point the development of the zygote depends upon the life cycle of an organism and its surrounding so after after the zygote is formed by the fusion of male and female gametes then the uh, development of that zygote it is depends on their life cycle if it is human then the zygote also develops has usual like a human if it's an elephant then that zygote also starts developing has like a elephant and if it's a chick it also it's also same uh, has like chick only it will give rise to so this is based on the life cycle of an organism and its surrounding surrounding climate it's also based on the surrounding climate and in some of the organisms the zygote does not develop immediately and develops a thick wall around itself and in wall of the resistant and damage yeah so here what they are telling means the zygote immediately it can't develop okay so like in human only if we take so there after zygote there is a cleavage and morula and uh, blastula and then 
लाइक गैस्ट्रुला न्यूरुला एंड देन द अदर थिंग्स आर डेवलप्ड सो देर इज अ लॉन्ग स्टेज फॉर द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ सिंगल जाइगो टू अ एम्ब्रियो जेनेसिस मीन्स लाइक टू अ न्यू बॉर्न बेबी सो फर्स्ट इट शुड वॉन्ट टू गेट अ प्रोटेक्टिव वॉल इन साइड अ मदर ओम दैट इज प्लासेंटा thick wall okay so this wall uh, is made because for no uh, for because they should not have any damages or else desiccations okay so the first the protective wall is developed that is in humans is placenta okay so next that is embryogenesis okay in embryogenesis it is a process of development of the embryo from the zygote as i told you first of all it uh, like the gametes fused okay male and female gametes fused okay then they formed the zygote right and then finally after the zygote it should form a new individual right new individual so in between the zygote in between the zygote and the new individual there is a um, development that development is called as embryogenesis okay that development is called as embryogenesis i guess you have understood right so again i'll repeat it so embryogenesis is nothing but the process of development of the embryo from the zygote so after zygote the process of development of embryo takes place so it is called as embryogenesis embryo it is also called as new individual and new offspring okay in that way and the next the zygote undergoes cell division and differentiation has i told you the zygote undergoes the cell division to form uh, like a cleavage sorry yeah this is a zygote okay and uh, next from here there is a cell division that is cleavage then morula morula then blastula then gastrula then neurula and then there is the start uh, main uh, development and differentiation differentiation is nothing but this is a cell division from here to here okay cell division and uh, differentiation is nothing but the cells should be differentiated particularly like uh, if we take a kidney then it has their own cells and if we take a um, now now it has their own cells that is uh, neurons okay and here in kidney nephron cells it should be okay nephrons so in that way uh, they will differentiate okay the cells for kidney this much of cells that to nephrons and uh, for neurons uh, for nerve cell this is the cells that is neurons okay so in that way it will just distribute and differentiate okay so next uh, cell division increases the number of cells of the embryo yeah that's right so after the cell division has i told you there is the differentiation means i showed you in the diagram that kidney has to be in this uh, type of cells and nerves have to be in this type of cells so after the cell division after the cell division this differentiation means number of increasing of the cells in the embryo takes place and the cell differentiation have Uh, and the cell differentiation helps the cell to undergo modification to form a specialized tissues and organs as i told you organs nothing but kidney and uh, nerve cell heart cells cardiac cells in this way okay so after this type of differentiation the cells undergo the modification means a uh, kidney may uh, should be in this shape itself and uh, neurons should be in this way itself okay and heart should be in this way itself so that way they finally modifies okay so next animal can be uh, grouped into two categories based on how and where the development of the zygote takes place right so like animals Uh, how it means how means they reproduce based on their climatic conditions so some may reproduce in water some may reproduce in uh, on the land in that way to develop the zygote 
for the development of zygote into the embryo animals have their own categories that two two categories these categories are oviparous and viviparous so oviparous the fertilization uh, the fertilized egg is covered by the calcareous shell and released into the outside environment the development takes place inside the egg and the egg ones hatch later okay so fertilization here in oviparous oviparous is nothing but i'll tell you later but uh, sub, uh, in categories oviparous and viviparous is there the fertilization egg is covered by the calcareous shells for example let us take uh, hen itself chick so you all eat the egg right so on the egg there is a shell like structure it's a very hard when they boil they'll just remove that and uh, inside yolk content and all they will eat so that that what you remove in the shell outermost layer that is very rough and it is a calcareous shell they will tell you tell okay so they will um, yeah it is a protective layer for the egg that calcareous shell that is protective for the egg um mean zygote and then releases outside the environment the development takes place inside the egg if the organism that is developing inside the egg that itself as i told you take the egg as an example the chick develops inside the egg itself right so that uh, then later after it develops whole body then it just hatches okay hatches and breakdowns and comes out for example as i told you birds and reptiles for example reptiles or snakes you can take snakes also lays the egg eggs itself right and birds you can take a chick hen okay and next let us see the viviparous the development of the zygote takes place inside the inside the female body is yes, right so viviparous is nothing but that reproduce inside the body of the mother stomach and then develops younger ones and is delivered outside and after the 9 months or else uh, for elephant like uh, it may take uh, 12 months like in that way after its particular uh, development of embryo then it delivers so delivery and outside and next uh, it is taken care outside itself externally by the mother so for example let us take mammals including human human is there na including human and other mammals also like uh, elephants anything tiger lion any human beings or else mammals mammals is nothing but the body is covered by the airs air content uh, on the skin there if there is a air content means those are the mammals okay that human also belongs to it okay so next this is the last slide and uh, chapter is ending today itself so still now we studied about some oviparous viviparous and uh, what about that and all right so now let us see some uh, zygote formation in the flowering plants how it happens so the flowering plants the zygote is formed inside the ovule okay so inside the ovule the zygote is formed uh, for example if you take uh, like hibiscus flower hibiscus flower so here the long thing is there here the anthers and here inside the ovum sorry ovule is present okay this in this ovule in this in this ovule itself the zygote takes place so here uh you can observe here some of the ovule and there things are there right so zygote further develops into embryo okay as i told you in uh, an other animals also that zygote further develops into embryo that is called as embryogenesis right so embryo is nothing but new individual is forming okay new individual or else new offspring is forming so that is called as embryo so zygote develops into embryo and ovule as i showed you now that ovule develops into seed in fruits you have observed that there is a seed content so ovule develops into seed and next ovary develops into fruit so if this like uh, let us take apple so these are seeds and uh, this is apple right so this seed 
that was first ovule you can observe here the ovule itself developed into seed okay then next ovary that develops into fruit so this is ovary and then later it has developed into fruit okay next that uh, fruit that contains the seeds disperse and germination of a new plant okay so this seed further uh, disperse uh, means after eating the fruit it just dispersed right um, thrown right so again it uh, germinates and develops into a new organism so thank you so much and we are ending uh, it with the chapter one of uh, reproduction in organisms still here so in the next class let us uh, solve some of the questions as soon as i'll uh, upload it so that you can answer there so thank you so much bye bye thank you all the class notes and other study materials provided in our vital biology telegram group link is provided below in the description box like share subscribe and press on the bell button for the notification of newly updated classes